Hi there, and welcome back to Football Manager Projects. Boy, I hope uh, you haven't missed me too much. It's been a little while. Um, as you can see, we are now running Football Manager 2023. Um, I just purchased this game earlier today, um, and the computer may or may not seem a little bit different to you um, uh, because we are running Linux. I just realized that I haven't uh, gotten this up to the point that I wanted to yet, so bear with me here as I quickly choose a random formation. I set up a save earlier today mostly just to make sure that the game actually works, and we will show you that it does. You save current vision, blah, blah, blah. All we want to do here is get to the game as quickly as we possibly can. So um, it's a real interesting thing when you... Uh, go from one operating system to the next. Um, I realized today that it's a lot like uh, moving house. I've had the um, pleasure of doing so multiple times in my life and um, I can tell you that it can be a somewhat stressful event as you look at some of your files and you say, geez, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to take some of these files over? Do I really need this? I could get this again if I really needed to and so on and so forth. Um, that's kind of what I've been through uh, today. I felt like um, uh, I was moving again um, and I'm happy to report that um, everything um, has worked out for the best. Um, as you can see, clearly I'm able to uh, make a, a video and clearly I'm able to you know, set things up um, so that I can post again and uh, so that we can um, have a good time together. Um, I am going to decline to meet with the media here because all we want to do is we want to take a look and see how... Um, we want to see how this match engine runs. So um, here we are having our first look at the match um, engine. As I believe I uh, stated last time, um, maybe not in the video, but maybe in the blog post, um, I have a pretty good graphics card in this computer. The computer I'm running is actually an iMac. It's one of the um, uh, iMac 27s from 2019. Um, and uh, this is one of the reasons why my last video made me so upset and so concerned um, because I'm running a computer that in theory um, should have uh, the ability to uh, run games like Football Manager um, with uh, very high detail and in uh, you know very high mode without killing the CPU and without having any problems. I have a graphics card in this computer. It came with the computer. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happened exactly to a Mac OS, but whatever's happened to Mac OS is kind of whatever's happened to that. We're not going to worry about that too much. Um, all we care about here is that the game plays. As you can see, it's a little bit slow, so we're going to um, turn our highlight speed up a little bit. Um, I don't really care about this game that much. We're not going to watch the thing all the way through. I just set up this uh, sort of random save just to make sure that it works and that we can do this and that we'll be able to make these kind of recordings um, and do things just as we wanted to do it before. As you can see, um, we're doing quite well. Um, we don't have any sort of like major graphical glitches like we had before. Um, as we, uh, we can see, I think there's a little bit of stuttering, a little bit of problems. This is probably because I have um, a couple of other things open and running at the same time. Um, but uh, if you ask me, the quality uh, when comparing this to what we had uh, just last week is like night and day. There's no difference in the computer. I haven't purchased any new RAM. I haven't purchased a new computer. I haven't done anything like that. All I did was change the uh, operating system. I'm not sure what Ederson was doing there. It's absolutely insane. Um, and Holland's going to score. Well, he should score. This is why I'm not going to manage Man uh, Manchester City. Um, but as you can see, the game runs very, very smoothly, and it runs very, very nicely. If I were doing this and not telling you that I was running this on Linux, I don't think you would tell a difference between this type of performance and the performance that you would expect uh, from somebody running this game on a PC. Right? This is not necessarily like the highest end computer out there. Um, there's, you know, I could get, I could have a much nicer. Um, uh, video card. I could have probably a faster processor than I have now. I could do all sorts of different things if I really wanted to, um, but uh, you know, uh, we don't really have that. We kind of have what we have here, and um, we're going to kind of deal with it. As far as I'm concerned, though, in watching this, this looks more than good enough to me. So we're perfectly fine, I think, going forward with this, and um, this should help us uh, be able to start a new save and uh, help us be able to um, do some things that are a little bit fun, I think, for a change. So we'll go ahead and exit Football Manager, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hopefully not show you um, all of the other things that are going on as I'm uh, creating my blog post. You can see the game exited very, very quickly. Um, for some reason, uh, the, uh, uh, the um, 
our uh, operating system's having a hard time uh, finding some of the uh, backgrounds I was trying to install, but there's uh, no real problem uh, with that, I think, in the end. Uh, we'll take a quick look over here in the file system, and we'll see if we can figure out, um, I haven't actually done this before, we'll see if we can figure out exactly where it is that um, uh, these uh, files are being stored. And it's probably here in Steam. And uh, after Steam, we're going to uh, see if we can take a look and see if we can figure um, some of this stuff out. Um, anyway, as you can see, though, you know, Steam is going to, um, uh, you know, this is probably just sort of the Steam uh, files itself. Uh, Steam is going to um, uh, create um, places for you to uh, access um, your files right within your uh, your hard drive as normal. Um, you can access them normally. The reason why I bring this up is because when you want to create add-ons, you're going to be able to do so. Um, you're going to be able to download them and install them just like you normally would. Um, it's possible, actually, if I go to Properties and uh, Local Files, we go to, bra to browse. There we go. So we can see right here, and my apologies if this isn't um, as big as it should be. Um, we can see where it comes from here. So yes, in Steam, and then Debian installation, Steam apps, common, Football Manager 2023. And here is our famous um, data folder, which is where you can go through and you can find all of the um, information that you need. I bet you if I go over here to uh, Debian installation, I'll probably also have. Um, a uh, different folder um, that will give me uh, the uh, uh, sort of, uh, maybe it's here in user data, I have to go look a little bit closer, but there will be a place where you can stick your um, other files like your graphics files, your uh, editor data files, um, and um, things of that nature. Um, so there is basically a way to switch um, directly over to Linux and to get the game running, not only to get the game running right, um, but to do everything that you wanted to do before um, without really much of um, a difference at all. Um, that's kind of the, uh, I, I think the, the uh, uh, cool part about this, which is that you know you can you can just uh, play the game as uh, you know you uh, were playing it um, on your PC or you were playing it on your Mac, and you don't have to worry so much about some of the crazy updates that come up and some of the other problems that you know may uh, may cause some uh, issues for you. Um, and now here at the very end of the video, just um, as a little bit of proof. We can do a quick um, Neo fetch, and uh, you will see that I am indeed uh, running Linux. This is not some sort of prank or test video. Um, this is what we're running today. We're running a Ubuntu Budgie, um, which is pretty nice. I'm not sure if it's uh, necessarily the best graphical environment for this, um, but it runs well. One runs well on uh, this um, uh, somewhat dated but not too old iMac. Um, I've been able to get everything that I want to working here um, with the exception of the um, internal microphone. And as you can tell, I'm using an external microphone anyway. Not such a big deal. Um, if we did have any sort of disaster, I do have a uh, installation of Windows uh, 10 that I just stuck on using QEMU and uh, KVM. Uh, that took me about 20 minutes to figure out. It's actually really easy and it runs very, very well. Um, so if you happen to be like I was for many, many months, if you're on this verge of asking yourself, do I want to stick with an operating system that's starting to drive me nuts? And uh, do I want to stick with all of these problems that I'm seeing as I'm going forward? Or do I want to take the plunge and go do something new and maybe give uh, Linux a try? Um, I would recommend uh, giving Linux a try. And uh, at least as far as Football Manager is concerned, as far as potential YouTube content creation is concerned, and um, as far as blogging is concerned, writing and doing all these other things that we want to do, it works just fine. It works pretty well. Um, you might want to uh, create a, a virtual machine on your computer first and sort of test things out a little bit. Um, but for the most part, everything kind of just works, you know. I don't want to uh, necessarily, you know, take too much of a dump on uh, uh, Apple right now, but um, I will say that when I first uh, switched from uh, PC to Apple back 10 years ago, um, I did so because I wanted something that just worked. Um, oh, you can see my nice uh, backgrounds back up. I wanted to get something that just worked. I was tired of uh, dealing with, um, I think I had Windows Vista at the time. I was tired of blue screens of death and all sorts of problems. Um, and unfortunately, uh, it's no longer um, the same with Apple as it once was. 
So uh, my recommendation is, again, if you're at the same place that I was at, you might want to think about switching. And at the very least, you know you can play football manager, you can create a video if you want to, you can be creative, you can do things that you want to do without having to spend so much time doing administrative things or wondering why in the world a uh, update to the operating system killed your graphics card. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much, um, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'll have more for you tomorrow. Bye.